Hey guys, what's going on? It's Clever Techie, and in this video, we're going to learn how to create an image slider with just basic HTML and CSS without even touching any JavaScript at all. Gonna go ahead and create a new project, name it Image Slider. I'm just gonna close all these other files, delete this part here, and let's give it a title of Image Slider. And I'm going to go ahead and copy the three images that I have uh, into the project folder. Okay, so those are the three images that I'll be using in this video. And you want to make sure that all three images are exactly the same size for this to work. Now let's go ahead and create the cascading style sheet file as well. And I'm just going to name it style.css. And then include it from the index.html file by using link href equals style.css, type equals text CSS, and rel equals stylesheet. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do here is create the slide container div, which will hold all of our images and slide buttons. Name it slide container and slide container. So for this class, you wanna make sure to use the same exact size as your images. And once again, you wanna make sure that all of your images are the same exact size as well. Um, let's also create the image container, which will contain all of our images. And image container. Okay, so the width of this container should be based on how many images you have and what the combined width of those images is. So for example, I have three images, which are all 800 pixels wide. So I want to multiply 800 by three and I get 2,400 pixels. So that will fit all three images inside of the container. And obviously if you have a different amount of images and their widths are different, you want to adjust this property based on your unique settings. And the height of the container is going to be the same as the image height. Also, we want to make sure to set the position to relative. And since this is going to be our div that we're going to be using to transition the images into view, we want to set the transition setting here. So transition left two seconds. And let's make sure it works in all browsers. For Chrome, it's going to be WebKit transition left 2s. For Firefox, it's Moz transition left 2s. And for Opera, it's O, transi uh, it's o transition left 2s. So this is just to ensure that uh, the transition property works in all browsers because they have different compatibility. Now let's go ahead and add the actual images inside of the image container. So image SRC, in my case, the image name is one. And we're also going to apply the class to our images right away called slider image, which we're going to be using to align our images horizontally. Second image, same class, slider image. And third image, class slider image. Okay, so let's create the actual slider image class next. And for this one, we're just gonna use a property called float left to align the images to the left. Let's just also add um, margin zero and padding zero just to make sure that there's no extra spacing around the images. Uh, let's see what we got so far here. Okay, so this is what we have so far. And as you can see, the images are 
aligned horizontally but they're all showing up at the same time and they're not centered so let's fix that next okay let's go back to our slide container class and add some additional properties so we want to make sure that the image is centered when it slides into view so for that we're gonna use margin left auto and margin right auto so that's just gonna center our image and since our image container is located inside of the slider container its content is going to be overflowing and that's why we want to set the property of overflow to hidden to hide the other images so that only one shows up finally let's add a text align to align the slider buttons inside of the container so text align is center now let's create the button container to hold our link buttons and uh, we're gonna name this one button container and so since we place the button container right underneath of our image container we want to make sure to set the uh, button container top property to a negative value so that it shows up on top of our slides and set the position to relative and the next class slider button is going to be the actual slider button links that will change the slide so let's say inline block for display set the height to 10 width to 10 as well and set the border radius to about 5 pixels and background color to white or whatever color you prefer now the last thing we're gonna do is add three span tags or whatever number of images you have on top of our image container here and this is what's going to be what we're gonna be using to move the image container to the left side of the screen using the CSS left property so span ID we're gonna name the first one slider image one close the span tag and then span ID slider image 2 so you can have as many images as you want just keep adding the, uh, the number span ID equals slider image 3 span so for every image you just wanna create uh, another span tag and let's go ahead and create the actual links down here and target slider image one and the class of this link is going to be our slider button class so slider image two target the next image same thing slider button close the a tag and slider image 3 okay so now back to the CSS we're going to add three IDs for our links which will target our image spans that we've created which in turn will target the image container where our actual images are located to move uh, the slides to the left side of the screen and for that we're gonna be using target selector along with a tilde called a sibling combinator which is simply used to target another div class so here's what it's gonna look like slider image one target tilde image container and for the first image it's not going anywhere so we want to use zero pixels slider image 2 target tilde image container for this one we want to use 800 or rather negative 800 to move 
the image 800 pixels to the left. And finally, slider image 3, target, target, image container. And for this one, it's going to be negative 1600. And I actually made a little mistake here. Instead of slider container, it should be slide container up here. Hopefully you have noticed that. And let's go ahead and see what we have so far. Let's go ahead and quickly review this last part because I realize it might be a little bit confusing. So we've created three links which target unique span tags that we've created on top of our image container. And these span tags in turn target the image container inside of the CSS where all of our images are located. And we're setting the left property to the value in order to slide the images into view. And that's where all the magic happens. That's what makes the images slide. And that's how you create the image slider with HTML and CSS. And guys, I would really appreciate if you like this video. It really helps with the visibility. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, Clever Techie out.